نحمده وصلي على الرسول الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء ذات الرجع والأرض ذات الصدع يا كاشف الكروب يا مقلب القلوب يا طب القلوب يا منور القلوب اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد رب شح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأوق دتا من لساني يفكه قولي آمين يا رب Before I talk about uh, the weather and mind control and the fitna of Dijjal let me start by two verses of the Quran that will be important in this discussion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ was sama by the sky that returns. So when the heat tries to go up high, the ozone layer and the different they return back the heat. When the radio waves go up, it comes back. When the rain the water goes up, it comes back. So was sama and the earth that brings out things. Okay? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if talking to people who conspire against the believers and against the Muslims who have done ظهر الفساد في البر والبحر بما كسبت أيدي الناس who have caused fasad in the world, in the land, in the sea Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if talking to them وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ This is the normal process Allah has put in place regarding the earth and its weather Right? وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ The sky returns and even from the outside, from the, 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 the bad rays are pushed back and the good rays are kept in. Okay? وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلٌ فَصْلٌ Indeed, this is a very severe and a very serious and a very sharp and decisive statement. إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلٌ فَصْلٌ وَمَا هُوَ بِالْحَزْمِ It's not a joke because some people want to play around with nature and Allah's creation. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلٌ فَصْلٌ وَمَا هُوَ بِالْحَزْمِ It's not a joke. وَمَا هُوَ بِالْحَزْمِ إِنَّهُمْ يَكِيدُونَ كَيْدًا They plot and they plan. وَأَكِيدُ كَيْدًا Allah says, I plot and also plan. Who do you think is going to win? إِنَّهُمْ يَكِيدُونَ كَيْدًا وَأَكِيدُ كَيْدًا فَمَهِّلِ الْكَافِرِينَ أَمْهِلْهُمْ رُوَيْدًا Let them be, let them do what they're doing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الرَّجْعِ وَالْأَرْضِ ذَاتِ الصَّدْعِ إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلٌ فَصْلٌ وَمَا هُوَ بِالْحَزْلِ إِنَّهُمْ يَكِيدُونَ كَيْدًا وَأَكِيدُ كَيْدًا the weather and mind control, this will be a very interesting program. And we'll make a lot of things clear, inshallah, if Allah wills. Was sama'i dhati raja, and by the sky that returns. Wal ardi dhati sadri, and then the, by the earth that cracks open, meaning brings out the plants and the trees. Innahu la qawlun fasl, this is a decisive word. This is what Allah made this to do. Wa ma huwa bil hazl, this is not a joke, don't play around with this. Innahum yakidu nakayda, they plot and they plan against the system Allah has created to make a system of their own, right? Then Allah says, I'm also plotting and scheming against what they are doing from what I have, with what I have created. Therefore give those who deny the truth, just give them some time, give them some respite. See what happens, how well this works out for them. Now, regarding the Jal, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it has been reported to have said and he said that part of it is fitna okay so this is a qawl okay part of his fitna is that he will command the sky to rain and it will rain and he will command the earth to bring forth vegetation it will do so and part of his fitna will be that he will pass by a clan and they will disbelieve in him so all their flocks will perish and none will be left and part of his fitna will be and will pass by a clan who will believe in him, and he will command the sky to rain, and it will rain, and he will command the earth to bring forth vegetation, and it will do so. There, 
until their flocks will come back in the evening of that day, bigger and fatter than they have ever been. Until the flocks will come back in the evening that day, bigger and fatter than they have ever been, with their flanks stretched and their udders full of milk. Okay? There will be no part of the earth left that he does not enter or prevail except Mecca and Medina, for he will not approach any uh, approach them on any of the mountain paths, but he will be met by an angel with an unsheathed short sword until he is, he will stop at the red hill at the end of Marsh. This is a place near Medina we know, but you get the idea of his control. Okay, he will control meaning every city specifically, and the Muslims will have to make hijra as has been clarified in many of the sayings of the Prophet ﷺ and is a general uh, solution given in Qur'an in times of fitna. Okay? So, another reason you will see today that why we have to begin to plan to move away from the cities. Because as weather control becomes tighter and tighter, as electricity and electrical things uh, become uh, more and more intensive, uh, and uh, it will have no choice. Uh, and then, of course, the anti-Islamic propaganda that will be done, that is a whole different topic. But let us now start with what I wanted to share with you, and that is this paper, research paper written by a sister. So everyone say, Amin. This is a sister. Her name is Zoya Mahreen Sharif. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use her for the work of the deen. She has written this paper, uh, the in this from the university in Belgium, high frequency active. So this is HARP, okay, rural research program. So she's written about this, and she has a bachelor's of engineering in electrical and communication engineering, okay, and uh, she she did this paper, okay, and there's a particular part of this paper that I want to go over today, and I'll go over other parts at another time. Okay, and that is the history of weather control and mind control and how the two are interlinked with one another. The events, okay, leading up to HARP, which is the uh, the big, you can say, zapping machine of weather. Okay, so, and then I'll, sh I'll read through this and then explain it uh, as best as I can. Uh, Nikola Telsa invents the system of AC power source and trans, uh, transmission system. As 60 pulse per second hertz, AC power grid spreads over the land. Mother Earth will eventually dance to a different beat than her usual 6 to 8 hertz frequency. This is very important that because of these electrical grids we have created, the natural, you can say, pulse that the Earth had has changed. Let me show you one or two things regarding that. So, Here's an article, is the Earth's heartbeat of 7.83 hertz influencing human behavior? So this is a whole article on this. And uh, I don't want to go into too much of this right now, but it's so interesting because uh, I don't know how to explain this, but this is kind of like so deep and powerful that it's like human beings are made for this environment that we're in, okay? And if you change it, it's not, it, it becomes an artificial environment. And so... Um, let me show you another uh, article on the same topic that kind of explains this, I think, a little bit more easily. Studying Earth's double electrical heartbeat. Okay, And so, uh, obviously, if you're going to affect, and you'll see this is clear, they're going to become, cl become clear. You see, this is the global electrical circuit. Okay, So just like there's the water cycle, there's an electrical circuit that's running around the Earth. And obviously, if you have two powerful grids of electricity they were going to interfere with one another i think that's pretty logical to understand okay but uh let me just uh, show you um so they've noticed okay we have a saying when it comes what must comes down must ha have gone up much like the quran says in other words if we see current flowing down in fair weather regions then there must have been a charge going up okay uh and then, uh, measuring the global circuit, meaning the electrical circuit, is a history of failure. Okay, um, And so, 
he goes on to the history of this and how uh, shifting baselines, meaning the um, the what human beings have been doing, monitoring long-term trends in lightning is difficult. Okay, and he goes on. New data should help scientists choose between two possible explanations for the differences in the American and African chimneys. Meaning, uh, well, he, he's talking about how this is affected. You can say different things. The role of global circuit in climate change is a standard essay question. Okay, so the point is the are the Earth has a heartbeat of an electrical heartbeat, just like an electrical uh, impulse creates the heartbeat. There's a heartbeat, there's an electrical function around the earth, and that is being tampered with by human beings, okay, which become a little bit uh, clear as we um, discuss this further, okay. So, so the first one was, so uh, then what happened? Telsa applies for a patent on a device, uh, transmit electrical energy through natural mediums. Uh, let me see if I can show you that. Uh, Here is the patent from the United States Patent Office, Art of Transfor Transmitting Electrical Energy Through Natural Medium. Okay, this was in 1905. Okay, this is the patent over here. You can see this. Okay, and uh, so the U.S. patent was made. Confirmation that radio waves bounce off of the ionos ion ionosphere electrically charged layer uh, starting at altitude 50 miles. So this is exactly what the Quran said, that what was sama'i that raj'i. Exactly what the Quran said. Exactly what the Quran said. And by the sky that returns, meaning things bounce off the sky and come back to the sky, right? This is why heat doesn't simply go up and just go into space. Uh, heat is able to be maintained into the earth to keep a uh, certain temperature. Um, so let me show this to you over here. Okay, so this is an example of was sama'i that raj'i was was sama'i that raj'i wal ardi that is sadai. Okay, and the sky that returns back. So there's like a, you can say the Quran also calls it like a roof, saqaf, there's this uh, atmosphere on top that has this ability to return things back and so obviously where they were making telecommunication and different uh, forms of communication this was something that the military was studying uh, to understand how uh, communication can be done okay scientists proposed to light up the night sky by electron uh, gyatron heating with a powerful transmitter okay so this is how it began with a few things so let me show this to you uh very quickly uh here so uh angels don't play this harp uh, this is an interesting uh read also and uh let me now show you uh this is just an article on this issue experimental studies on the gyatron okay and the gyatron is Basically, this is what the giant the gyatron is a class of high power linear beam vacuum tubes that generates millimeter wave electromagnetic meaning uh, electromagnetic uh, magnetic waves by cyclotron renaissance of electrons in a strong magnetic field. Okay, so it's this thing that basically is used as you'll see in the end. It's used to this this uh, taking uh, you can say an apparatus in which charged atomic and subatomic particles are accelerated by an alienating electrical field while following outward spiral or circular path in the magnetic field. So you take away the magnetic aspect of it and uh, so I don't understand the science of it but this is basically what HARP uh, the um, the 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 University of Alaska that's using to manipulate weather. This is the type of technology that they're using. And I can, uh, and then of course, after that, the death ray was created 
by different scientists the death ray or the death beam was a theoretical particle beam or electromagnetic weapon first theorized around 1920s and 30s around that time notable inventors such and such right they uh, all were uh, claiming to invent this okay so uh, confirmation the electro waves bounce, bounce off the ionosphere scientists proposed to light up the sky by elect by, by basically these you could say one way to put it is a bunch of these antennas that hit the sky at a certain point to heat up the sky so basically it's a sky heater okay this uh, gy gyrotron is a sky heater is this is a heater in the sky to create weather changes and they did it for other military purposes too as you'll see telsa announces death rate invention atomic bomb tests begin with 40,000 electric magnetic pulses pulses to follow okay schumann identifies 7.83 hertz renaissance frequency of the earth van ellen radiation belts discovered okay so uh that's up to 2,000 miles up violently disrupt the in the same year so that's 1958 and so let me uh show that to you also up to this point so this is the uh you can say the belt uh let me see if i can show this to you nope so let me show this to you so these are like the uh the belt of the radiation around the earth that also keeps away solar uh, flares and other bad things and keeps in the good things so there are all these different you can say components to the earth right there's the magnetic axis there's the ro rotational axis there's the inner radiation belt the outer radiation belt and uh, they did many many experiments on this uh, type of stuff you'll see but uh, let me show you this video that also kind of like highlights what this is all about so let's imagine this is the earth this is not the real earth this is just something fake but how it creates this kind of like uh, a a special zone of electrically charged particles and uh, it's known as the van ellen radiation okay and so this is part of uh, what was discovered now what does that mean in terms of weather manipulation you'll see okay so you'll see in the beginning there was just a bunch of discoveries coming together okay and then project ergus u.s navy explodes three nuclear bombs in the van allen belt okay and so let me go ahead and show you the project ergus right uh, Operation Ergus was a series of United States low-yield, high-altitude nuclear weapon tests and missile tests secretly conducted, okay? And uh, they did this for many reasons. It'll become clear. They did it for military reasons, especially against Russia. The tests were proposed by Nicholas in an unpublished unpub paper of what was then the uh, Livermore branch of the Lawrence Arabian Laboratory, okay? and uh, so what did they do uh so they two missiles with warheads to be launched with one month of each other originating from a single site the missiles were to be detonated at the altitudes of 200 to 1000 miles and also 2400 miles both detonations should occur near the geomagnetic equator so like they're trying to play with nature right and try to disrupt uh things satellites were to be placed uh you know in in these specifics so this was the task force 88 is what it was known for as as okay and uh so this is another this is the united states department of justice uh project ergus describing it uh project ergus helps business people prepare for the prevention of and response to terrorist attack etc etc okay so they have this uh i think this is something a little bit different maybe but uh, that uh, earlier one was correct so the project argus u.s navy explodes through nu three uh, three nuclear bombs in the van allen belt white house advisor on weather modification defense says department defense department studying ways to manipulate charges of the sky of of earth and sky to so, and so affect the weather 
Okay, so the White House advisor on weather modification says the Defense Department studying ways to manipulate charges, meaning the charges of earth and sky, in order to affect the weather for defense purposes and military purposes. In the 1960s is when all of a sudden, when they were beginning to study the weather, series of weather disasters happened. Weather disasters skyrocketed. Um, this is actually documented, and I can show you part of this documentation. Uh, okay. Uh, Weather-related disasters increase over the past 50 years, causing more damage but fewer deaths. Okay. Is the number of natural disasters increasing? Okay. The number of natural disasters that cost over a billion dollars has increased over the last 40 years. Okay. Rising from an average of three per year in the 1980s to 12, 13 per year in the in 2010s. So natural disasters are increasing. And uh, this is very important to know because this is part of what the Prophet described as the part of the fitna that would happen. And then why is these weathers changing taking place? Uh, is it taking place because of human intervention in the environment and human manipulation of the weather? The Dajjal is not going to learn uh, how to control the weather on his own. No, he's a human being. Uh, that is working with the jinns and shayateen but the knowledge that we are attaining today when this whole system falls when this whole city life falls when uh, there will be uh, complete chaos he's going to have that knowledge and that technology and is going to try to prove people he's God and so there's a series of natural disasters begin since the 1960s copper needles and this is what primarily shows so you can have two arguments one argument is well that's just natural and you know there's a natural cycle of things so the cycle of disasters is started that's one way to look at it the other is that no there's not it's not an accident that we were beginning to study weather and the effects of different uh, experiments on the weather and then all of a sudden the weather's uh, is is affected copper needles dumped into the ionosphere as telecommunications shield. So this was a project the military did. They literally dumped millions of needles as like a shield um, to uh, have communication when all other communication would go down. Okay. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and show you the, um, the project that was done. Uh, so that time the u.s military launched half a billion needles for space for reasons okay and so it was done so that they would have they would ha use these needles in the sky so when these uh let me see how i can which uh, part i should read for you um developed the massachusetts institute of technology lincoln labs the project was initially called project needles by professor walter when he first dreamed up the idea. It was later renamed West Ford. Okay. The idea was to place potentially even uh, um, uh, e even billions of tiny, okay, uh, microscopically thin copper antenna, okay, uh, as in a medium earth orbit to be used for communication signals at 8 gigahertz. And at first, the set when a set of well over 100 million needles was launched on October 21st, 1961. But unfortunately, this was, this test failed when the nail, needles did not disperse as planned. On the second attempt, okay, uh, the Air Force satellite sent into orbit. Once dispersed properly this time, the needles spread to form a sparsely concentrated belt with approximately 30, 50 diapoles per cubic mile. While you might think this surely wouldn't be dense enough to be effective in use for use in communication, in fact, early results of the experiment were exper extremely promising, with communication being established using the needle array from California to Massachusetts, some 3K or so miles, uh, or 4,800 kilometers apart. 
as such there were no reports that the air force was considering launching more belts to be placed uh, permanently in the orbit and it happened because some people had outrage uh, nasa had an outrage that we, can't, we won't be able to look into the sky properly and so they shut off the project at the or they did it without letting us know that they're doing it but Elon knows best so copper needles dumped into the ionosphere now you think where is you know what's so bad about all of this we're going to come to that scientists propose artificial clouds experiments and now they have artificial clouds raining in dubai for example okay ussr and usa create many electromagnetic pulses emp okay in the atmosphere 300 megaton of nuclear devices deplete ozone layer by four percent okay because when you have these impulses they affect the the ionosphere and they affect the atmosphere and it depletes the uh, the good things in the sky okay like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran was rafa'aha wa al mizan the sky we have raised it and put a balance so don't disturb this balance and this completely relates to uh, because in the jinn world they're not part of this three dimensional physical world as such and so in their world they would want so when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the in Surah Rahman, Ya Ma'ashal Jinni wal Insi Nista Ta'atum and Tanfuzum in Aftaris Samawati wal Art, O Assembly of Men and Jinn, you cannot pass the boundaries of the heavens and the earth, right? And that this attempt to pass the boundaries of heaven and earth, part of what happens is you want to to uh, unbalance the scale of things on in the in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the heavens and the earth. So what sama that was sama'i <coughs> we put a balance don't disturb this balance and what is human being doing today disturbing this balance okay we're disturbing this balance and what's happening as a result you'll see now so first thing is they create EMPs that begins to deplete the atmosphere Launch of Canadian satellites and start of stimulating pla plasma renaissance by antennas within the space plasma. I won't go much into this. Uh, Jordan McDonald publishes military ideas in environmental engineering. In Wisconsin, uh, U.S. Navy project uh, Sengain lays extremely low frequency antenna. Okay, now ELF, which is extremely low frequency, uh, had to be made for one basic reason in the beginning and that was the submarines that were deep in the water you can't have high frequencies going into the sea you can only have low frequencies going into the sea and so the submarine that's deep in the water when it needs communication or when it needs to give out communication or receive communication has to come near to the surface of the water so that it can receive those low very low uh, signals okay otherwise it won't be able to uh, receive anything so uh, then uh, you'll see now Moscow scientists tell the West that they have pinpointed uh, which pulsed magnetic field frequencies help mental and physiological functions and which frequencies do harm. So now that's so how do these frequencies that by which you can alter weather are also frequencies by which you can do harm to people's bodies. OK, the first reports I, on ionosphere heater experiments with high frequency radio waves uh, at a 9 a 100 megawatt heater in Norway built later in decade can change uh, conductivity of auroral ionosphere documentation that launch of Skylab have the total electron content of the ionic fear for three hours meaning by launching the uh, uh, Skylab you just by doing that you affected uh, the environment so much in that, that it, it the half the total electron content okay and uh, let me just show you uh, regarding this for example uh, so this is an artificial clouds okay and uh, this is uh, also on artificial clouds but this is i think 
this is the person who uh, did uh, this um, talked about weather engineering and so on and so forth. So this is the project Sanguin. Uh, was a U.S. Navy project proposed in 1968 for communication in submer submarines w using extremely low frequency. Okay, and then here is an example of what you know. Harp is basically a big uh, antenna that can zap uh, any part of the Earth basically with its uh, antennas. Linear and nonlinear plasma processes in the isonic uh, heating, okay, high frequency heating. So this is what uh, HARP looks like. This is one big grid of like a big zapper in the sky and that goes to the sky and can affect the weather in the sky. Okay, a large scale hole in the isonic sphere caused by the launch of the Skylab. So here's the report. This is uh, one of the people involved. Actual or potential effects of low, extremely low frequency radiation on enhancing violence, homicide, accelerating aging of humans, animals, or plant cells. Okay, so this is the effect of extremely low frequency so this is the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i was referring to so now let's go back over here and uh, recommendations for study of project sangway's biological effects denied by the navy united nations general assembly bans inter uh, environmental warfare which means that there is such a thing Experiments air glow brightened by hitting oxygen atoms in ionic sphere with accelerated uh, electrons. Stanford professor Robert uh, Heliwell reports that very low frequency from power lines is altering the ionic sphere. But they're not only altering that; they're also altering what our uh, blood. Okay, and you'll see that in a second. U.S. Senator. Gaylord Nelson forces Navy to release research showing that extremely low frequency transmissions can alter the human blood chemistry. So therefore, all these electrical things, especially low level electrical things, they can begin to affect our blood, our chemistry, our thoughts, our brains, our way of thinking, so on and so forth. The launch of NASA's third high energy astrophysical observatory causes large-scale artificially induced uh, depletion in, in ionic sphere. So the same thing that happened with the Skylab is happening here on the launch of the third uh, of the third high energy astrophysical observatory causes this plasma hole caused by rapid chemical processes within rocket exhaust and ozone layer. Ionic sphere uh, it says uh, plasma hole caused by rapid chemical processes between rocket exhaust and ozone layer. Ozonic sphere was significantly depleted over a horizontal distance of 300 kilometers for some hours. So this is what we're doing to the environment, you can say. Uh, Bernard Eastlund applies for patent method and apparatus for alterating region in Earth's atmosphere, ozonic sphere, and magnetic sphere. For first of three East Lund's patents assigned to Arco Power Technologies. In the 1980s, in the later part of the decade, the U.S. begins network of ground wave frequency emergency network towers to generate very low frequency waves for defense purposes. Okay, HARP, which is uh, something I'm going to talk more about, a whole video on basically. HARP planners to test the earth penetrating to uh, uh, tomography tomography applications by modulating electro jet at elf frequencies european parliament's subcommittee on security and disarmament holds a hearing on harp which is this big zapper uh, the university of alaska has uh, okay 
uh, and so HARP has become militarized. You could say project, uh, the projected period for HARP operations, fully operating HARP in developmental prototype system by early of the period. Okay, so this is to show you that the Earth has a natural heartbeat. We're dealing, we're ruining it. The Earth has a natural uh, balance of things. We're ruining that balance. Uh, in and it seems that this is the exact, uh, you know, enhanced from where we are today. But the gel will carry this type of technology of manipulating weather and uh, manipulating. Uh, he'll be able to make it rain where he feels like it should rain. He'll be able to stop the rain, make it rain. This is what the gel will do. And this is the type of technology we're working on today, right? We've already created artificial uh, clouds to make it rain. And so, and the frequencies of natural disasters has increased exponentially. So it is not hard to say that human intervention intentionally or unintentionally is causing the weather to act abnormal, which will then affect our psyches to act abnormal. Human beings will begin to act abnormal because all of this, according to research, affects our blood content, okay? Affects how we think and how we feel and uh, all of that. The natural world is designed to remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, the last thing I want to mention is what can you and I do about this? What we need to do is this, what we're fighting against is waves. We need to create our own waves. And that is reading the Quran out loud every day. You do, uh, you finish the whole Quran every month. You read Quran as much as possible every day. And when you do sujood, when you ground yourself to the ground, you let all the negative uh, electrical effects go away into the ground, inshallah ta'ala. So this is what I wanted to share with you as uh, you can say you, the beginning of history uh, to where we are today is a very, very dangerous place. But inshallah ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to do the right things and to be able to bring Islam to ourselves and our family members and those around us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and use us for his guidance. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. So inshallah till next time. I know I've been absent for about two months, give and take. But inshallah, from I'm going to try within the next two weeks, I get back to a routine where I'm doing videos every day. Inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan. Pray for me and I will pray for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.